Things are going extremely well in the Premier League, but can we continue that run of form into the Champions League? We've got both legs coming up against Salzburg. Let's get into it. So following on from a very, very good episode last time with Man City and Spurs being beaten, we then went away from home against Newcastle United and won 3-0. And we'll have a sort of change in me starting eleven that I've finally figured out after six months. Marcus Rashford plays up top, Anthony Martial on the left, and I've dropped Edinson Cavani. Not because Edinson Cavani is not absolutely phenomenal, but because I want to get Marcus Rashford and Anthony Martial in at the side. And in this game, Fernandez, Corman, and Rashford all scored. Next up was a 4-2 uh, away win against Sheffield United in the FA Cup. We played a pretty rotated side in this one, but we still managed to get away with it. Marcus Rashford with a hat-trick and Anthony Martial with one. Playing up front, it's going to work. Probably the toughest game we had remaining for the rest of the season was a 4-2 home win against Arsenal. Rashford with a brace, Martial with one and Harry Maguire with the other. Alex Lacazette got a brace for them, but it wasn't enough. And uh, our new... Out. These two are now performing superbly. And finally, it was a 4 0 home win against Everton. Anthony Martial, Rashford, Fernandez, and Alex Tellez with the goals in this one. And that sees the Premier League table looking like this. We sit top of the league, six points clear of Liverpool, who have now moved into second, seven points clear of Manchester City in third, ten points clear of Arsenal in fourth, and 17 points clear of Aston Villa in fifth. And we have a game in hand on every single one of them so assuming we win that nine points clear from second place Liverpool the title I think at this point is ours to lose and of course that takes us to the Champions League action where we got a very favourable draw against uh, Salzburg the Austrian side they've still got some good players Dominic I'm not even going to attempt to see second name is a fantastic player he was great on last year's FM and I think the years previous as well and um, but at 20 years old still a lot of room to develop and I don't think there's going to be enough to stop us. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Let's get into the game. Uh, as we said, Anthony Martial and Rashford are now switching places. Martial's playing fantastically on the left. Rashford's playing great up top. Uh, Kingsley Coleman's going to drop out. We're going to start Mason Greenwood for today's game. I'm actually tempted to drop Paul Pogba as well. Not because he's performing too poorly. But because he's been the one who's struggled the most for fitness. And he can come on probably for Bruno Fernandes at some point during this game. Otherwise... We are full strength. Let's get into this game and hope for an incredibly dominant win in this first leg. We are away from home, so it will be the most difficult tie. But um, if we can get a good win, uh, well, I might not even bring you the second leg, depending on if we absolutely batter them or not. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just G the boys up and see how they get on. First highlight of the game comes five minutes in. We're on the attack down the right-hand side. As long as Hakimi doesn't lose the ball, he's got a couple of options in the centre. Finds Van der Beek. Mason Greenwood's in behind. Good save by Stankovic and it goes out for... Oh, it was offside. Never mind. Another highlight now. It's a free kick for Salzburg. Basically a corner. He whips it in. Goes to the back post. David here with the save. Okafor with the goal. <laughs> I, come in, I come into this game with so much confidence. Why, why did I do that? This always happens. His ninth goal of the season. Put Salzburg 1-0 up. 12 minutes in, and uh, panic? No, not yet. Come on, boys. Three minutes later, can we get ourselves straight back into this? Mason Greenwood plays it in. Anthony Martial's there. He gets his 15th goal of the season to level things up, and Salzburg's league didn't leave, uh, didn't steer too long. We'll watch this in the replay because it was a little bit weird uh, angles. Mason Greenwood getting past his man to the byline, and Martial is just there to tap home after a decent cross. Oh, Anthony Martial picks up a knock. We're going to bring on Kingsley Coleman for that left-hand side. Hopefully, that isn't too uh, long. He's really started to hit some form on that left-hand side. And it will be gutten if he's now going to be injured for any significant period of time. And Van der Beek now also picks up a knock. So, we're going to have to take him off after this highlight as Marcus Rashford gets his 13th goal of the season to put us 2-1 up. He has been... 10 times the player since we moved him up front. I couldn't quite figure him out on that left-hand side. He just wasn't working for whatever reason. But now up front, he's showing his true quality. And we need to get the best out of him as he is an English homegrown player. And it all, it all matters with the new uh, EU laws and stuff like that. We'll look to make our changes though. Van der Beek is going to come off. We're going to bring on Paul Pogba who I, thought, well, I was hoping we were going to be able to rest for a significant period of this game. But he is going to have to step in now. Half time, not too happy with the performance actually. So I'm going to send them back out, give them a bit of a kick up the arse 
and seeing if they can perform a little bit better and give us a couple of more goals in this second half. It's taken 25 minutes into this second half to get our first highlight, and it's Rashford's played in behind. He dinks it over the keeper, hits the post. That was slow motion torture. Another highlight now, Bruno Fernandes knocks it down to Mason Greenwood. It's cleared only as far as Benton Kerr. Don't lose the ball there. I'm very, very wary of counter-attacks. Pogba to Kingsley Corman. Uh, we're dri they're driving us backwards. They're playing a high line. So if we can find that right pass in behind, we could be in. Alex Tellez tries to get past his man. He's taken down. That was a fantastic challenge. And that was the highlight. Nothing else happening. With only 10 minutes to go, we'll make our final substitution of the game. Benton Kerr could come off for Nemanja Matic. Um, oh. I'm not so happy with it. I mean, it's away from home. A 2-1 win is good. Two away goals. We've got the advantage going into it. If it stays like this, there's a corner kick for Salzburg coming up. No, there's not. Um, I was hoping we were going to beat them like 5-0. I wouldn't even have to play the second leg and we'll go back to Premier League action. But uh, I think we're definitely going to have to bring you the second leg just to confirm that we actually get through to the Champions League quarterfinals. As Okafor brings it down the left-hand side for Salzburg. Comes back out to Ulmer. The ball's played in... Thankfully, David De Gea is there. They have caused us some real problems this game. Final highlight, Alex Tellez plays in the corner. Harry Maguire to the back post. Marcus Rashford's there. Is he offside? He looked offside to me. VAR is checking the goal. Come on. Please be onside. Goal disallowed. I thought so. And there we have it. There's the full time. Here's the replay for the disallowed goal. Oh, very, very tight. But Rashford was offside. 2-1. Uh, Not bad. Not great. Let's... Uh, I've got about four or five Premier League games to get through before the next leg. So I'll quickly blast through them. And then we'll see yeah, at the next one we've got. Got four. Uh, hopefully we can get four wins out of four. Spurs away, Wolves away, West Ham away. We could end... The, the, there is some potential banana slips here. Spurs seem to have turned it around since we beat them 4-0. Um, so let's get through them and I'll see you at the second leg. So I'm just playing through the games. The boy has just been neutered. And he's feeling very needy right now. And as you can see, he looks like, well, he looks like a sailor. Because he won't stop scratching at the wound. So, we've sort of had to dress him up. I'll see you at the Salzburg game. So here we are at the Salzburg game for the second leg. There's only been three games. One of them got rearranged. I think because of the FA Cup quarterfinal against Man City. That's coming up next. Uh, West Ham ended up being a one-all draw. Really disappointing. Bruno Fernandes scored for us from the penalty spot, but they equalised, I believe it was through Sebastian Haller. So we dropped points there, which wasn't great. Uh, we beat Southampton 4-0, though. Bruno Fernandes, Mason Greenwood, Marcus Rashford and Daniel James with the goals in that one. Now we've just beat Wolves. Mason Greenwood with the brace and Marcus Rashford with the goal. Hey, uh, we do have some injury issues. Both Anthony Martial and Hakimi will miss today's game through injury. Martial's injury did come in the first leg and he was out for about four weeks, but he should be fit for the next leg. Hakimi's only been out a couple of days, but I'd rather not risk him. So David De Gea, Wan-Bissaka, Felipe, Maguire and Tellers in the defence. Benton Kerr and Pogba in the midfield with Greenwood, Bruno Fernandes, Marcus Rashford. No, we're going to play Daniel James out on that left-hand side and continue persistent with Marcus Rashford up top. I am training him to become a natural there. He's not natural at the beginning of the game. So the more game time we can give him in that position, the better. Let's get into the game. Uh, we beat them 2-1 in the first leg. So we are comfortable favourites for this tie, especially at home. But the cause are some problems, so we can't count our chickens just yet. First highlight of the game comes three minutes in. It's Salzburg in possession of the ball, but deep in their own half. So I'm not too concerned just yet. Dominique with the ball over the top for Daka. He brings it down nicely. And we are on the back foot. Dominic back on the ball again. Poor pass by him. Luis Felipe can cut it out. And hopefully we can spring on the counters. Paul Pogba, lovely ball over the top. Marcus Rashford's got the pace to beat the defence. And Marcus Rashford's 16th goal of the season puts us 1-0 up. 3-1 up on aggregate. Surely now. Surely we're through. Another highlight now. Salzburg with a throw in deep in our half. We do manage to get it clear. Only as far as Angine at the back for Salzburg. They are playing some dodgy stuff at the back. If this was us, I'd be very, very worried. But they have managed to get it into the midfield with space to run it now as Dominic brings it forward. Gets past Benton Kerr, but he does get back and ball over the top for Rashford again. The keepers came for it and completely messed it up. Uh, Marcus Rashford gets the easiest goal of his career. He's 17th of the season and Stankovic 
Well, he'll be a little bit disappointed with that one. Benton and Kerr here winning the ball back from Dominic after a, a field attempt at a, a challenge. Ball over the top once again, does the defence. And Stankovic, oh, mate, I'd be raging if he was my keeper. Another highlight now, Okafor with a ball over the top that David De Gea acrobatically claims. Let's see if the highlight continues. A big punt up over the top. Dan James brings it down. It's over the defence again. They're playing a high line and it's costing them without a pace. And Dan James hits the post twice. <laughs> I know it's very early in the game. I'm going to get Benton and Kerr off. I don't see the point in keeping them on. Um, I feel like we've won this game already. Just, <laughs> just don't quote me on that. We're going to get Van, Den, Van Der Beek on in the defensive midfield role and save Benton and Kerr's legs. Rashford nearly completes his hat-trick. And there we are, half-time. Manchester United 2, Salzburg 0. I'm very happy with how things are going, boys. Keep it up. First highlight comes seven minutes into the second half. Van Der Beek. Picks up the ball in the midfield, playing it back to Harry Maguire. He's got plenty of options on that right-hand side. He can't quite pick out the correct pass. And it could be a counter-attack for Salzburg here. Adiemi is getting in behind Luis Felipe. He gets past him. He goes for goal from the byline. That def I've seen people mention on Twitter that that doesn't happen anymore. I have seen it so many times already on this save. And that hasn't been fixed. They'll get to the byline and shoot from impossible angles, as they have always done. We'll look to see if there's any more subs we can make. Bruno Fernandes. We haven't got the perfect replacement for him on the bench. So we're going to bring on Edison Cavani. Switch him and uh, where's Marcus Rashford around. So he's playing up top. Marcus Rashford playing in behind. We will take off um, Mason Greenwood as well. We've got Ahmad Diallo who we brought, well, who Manchester United brought in from Atlanta who joined us in the January transfer window. I couldn't quite get him loaned out. So nobody would take him. So... He's in our squad. We might as well use him. Dan, uh, Dan James in behind again. Can't quite beat Stankovic. Time is just ticking away in this game. We get away with a 2-0 win. Not a great performance by us, but it means 4-1 on aggregate. And we are safely through to the quarterfinals. Uh, as you can see by the Premier League table, by the way, we are still at the top. We've got two games in hand on Manchester City and one on Liverpool. The gap has closed a little bit because of that West Ham result and they have continued to win. But um, we'll have to wait and see how the rest of the Premier League uh, table runs out. But Champions League-wise, who is through? Man City through, Real Madrid, Ajax beat PSG. Huge result. Atletico Madrid and Atlanta still need to play. Uh, Barcelona beat Marseille. Juve beat Liverpool on a weird goals. And we've already beaten Juve this season, so we know we can take them if we need to. Lazio beating Benfica. I'm quite liking how this Champions League is shaping up. We need to see who we're going to get in the quarterfinals. Um, we'll get to that point and I'll show you well I've just recorded a lot of stuff with the Champions League draws and stuff and I didn't press record we've got Barcelona and we could potentially get Manchester City if we beat Barcelona in the semis can he? not can he? just had a look at the league we're still unbeaten everything's going champion anyway lads I've already done this part about 10 times see you later